All right, it is Sunday, February 13th, Super Bowl Sunday, going over some stocks. Um, YMAB, um, YMAB Therapeutics Incorporated, let's check it out. 285 million market cap, 46 million sales, 67% institutional ownership, which is good. Float 36 million and change. Guggenheim, February 3rd, had a buy, $22. What do they do exactly? A commercial stage bio focuses on development commercialization, antibodies for cancer, treatment of cancer. It offers Danzelia, if I pronounce that right, um, GD2, GD3 vaccine, and phase two, uh, stage four risk, neuroblastoma. They have a phase one, phase two, refractionary, GD2, all kinds of reading all this mumbo jumbo here. A B7H3, they have a lot of things in their pipeline, not just a one trick pony. Let me see. All right, February 11th announced completion of pre BLA meeting with FDA for um, Bert Tamab. I pronounced that right. Then a stock pop 25.95%. All right, so let's take a look further on the chart. Another recent IPO back in late 2018, so relatively new. You know, stock chopped around from 20 to 30, back and forth, sort of an upward move to 35 um, to 2020. Then it had to drop with COVID and it put in a nice low here. Uh, 14, 16, then it's been bounced hard to 50. That was a nice move, pretty fast too. Only took a few months really till June. Came down, didn't go all the way down, although pretty much held it for 35, then got to 55 on this candle. What's the high here? 55 exactly, did it go higher than that? Pretty much 55. This candle here, they're all pretty much tell you, yeah, 55 doesn't matter. All right, so you see that. So this broke out all time high. And then what happens? Do we keep going higher? No, this did not. This broke down, bounced. Now, when these start, you don't know at this point it's going to form this, you know, channel. You call it, you don't know if it's going back down or it's going to keep going up. It has to take time to form. It did bounce here, come back down, but then it really dropped to. 25. After January, this thing you know fell apart. It didn't make a nice bounce though to 35. Got hammered in this candle. Probably bad news that day. 717,000. Not that much volume though. And then see that we're bouncing again, but all the highs are getting lower. Pretty much connection points here, all the way down. That's why the channel all the way here. There's your low, and right now we're at. So that's the channel down. When you play channels down, you play in between. Once it's formed, you can see it formed. If you can pick it up, you, know, you play bounces in between, in between middle and high low. So it comes down, and you know, this has really dropped off now. It's at 860. The stock was 55. Big news. That was news I just read. 12.4 million. Never had volume like that on Friday. It is oversold. Um, let's see if we can put in more lines here, in between lines. Trying to make this connect pretty much. This looks like right here it's connecting and almost um, a pretty tight wedge here. Draw this down. Draw this here. And it's more of a channel down, like a tight little channel than a wedge, really. I mean, this is a wedge if you want to draw it even tighter with the end. So within this big framework here, you have here the low, the low here, and you have one, two, just one a little above three. So for me, this really has to bounce over 10. And probably at this point, you know, well, over 10, you know, probably keep going up here. That's big volume. We'll see what happens here. It's oversold. That's a key mark here. That, well, it's really... What is this here? About 950, that 20 EMA. We really want to wrap around. We don't want this to come up and then bounce back down again. 
within this little move. Higher move up here is near 20 at this point. Weekly chart. You can see here's the big bottom in March. A lot of stocks ran up. Came back down here. See, so it's still going down right here. Oversold, bounce up. A nice little move here. Not bad. You got 25 to $35, $10 move. And then down we go again. It's at a 572. That's a good buy zone. You're very oversold. And you can see the 1320 EMA. When you get far away from that, it's pretty good. $7 away from that. It could bounce right up here. And you're playing the bounces, so it doesn't matter. It's oversold. You can take that move right to here. It's, it's a matter if it does it at this point. Monthly, you can see here is the run up. It's, it was already stochastics. We're already starting to turn down. See right here, little move here. It was already diverging down, divergence. Another one. Here's another one. Red over white. There. See this? Going down, going down. You have now three six, nine red candles in a row are bearish. You want a green close on a weekly and monthly and maybe even another candle, you know, to uh, confirm that. But look at this on the monthly, 25 and 13 MA is at 23, 26. 23 and 26, 13, 20 MA. You're so far below that. Here's 860. Just like when you're getting up here on the high, you're pretty far above it. When you're that far below, it's extremely oversold. 3.54 in stochastics. To me, that's very bullish. It's just a matter of this is still going to go lower or not. I mean, you don't have any support below. This is a newer stock. And you know, it went through all these moves at 15. So this, you're going to have to watch a weekly, monthly close and news, which I had good news, and see if this starts to turn up. But overall, you're oversold. It will come back up. It's just a matter of how they're going to play this. Are they going to push this up? You know, hedge funds, traders, because this is institutionally owned at this point. And, you know, how far down are we going to go at this point? Which no one really knows. I mean, this is a key move here, but it's done this before. Is it going to come up here and get knocked down and this fading? That's what you're looking for. If this confirms, this starts to move, it's going to turn into a good long. And I would say if it gets past 12, 10, 10, 12, it could get a 20, this top channel line. That would be my target. Um, let me see here. 20, maybe to 20, maybe to 25, really. We're putting a strong move up. So there it is on YMAB. Great bounce on Friday. Good news, but will it continue? That's the question. You have to have confirmation of these. You just don't want to jump in. And then let's say it does, it makes a move up. And then it fades back down, it goes down, it keeps going down. It can be five, four, three, two, and maybe a month, which you don't want to have. So always look for confirmation. Look for a weekly close, news, look for momentum, you know, monthly close. You know, just like on this, this was down, but it started to move up. This is a V recovery. Did this do something like that? You know, it's possible. Did it right here. Not all the way up to the high, but you get the point. All right, that's it. Please subscribe to my game and trade alerts on YouTube. Smash the like button. That is it. We're out for now. Peace.